Hello Zany friends. I am Marshall. And I am Lainey. And today we are talking about our July Zany Lainey uh, products. Uh, if you are new to us and our company, we make fan fragrances. Um, basically based on your favorite geeky things. Um, and if you also have not yet, make sure you subscribe down below and hit that button because it really does help us get out there a little bit more spread out. Plus you don't want to miss all the other things on our channel. We don't just do videos about our stuff. Mm -hmm. We do other things as well. Mm -hmm. um, so a little bit of housekeeping before we start is that uh, don't forget that we have all of the products that you're going to see today plus some extra ones that are highlight scents. Those are deals that are available on our site all through the month of July discounted. So you're going to be able to go on there and then on the left hand side you can click products and highlight deals and you're going to see everything that's on sale. Also, July 21st through the 26th is our party. So those are going to be in our Facebook group deals only. So if you are interested in that, make sure you join our group down below um, so that you will be in the group for the party. We do some clearance stuff. We do other deals. So make sure you don't miss that. And lastly, if you want to be a rep with a Zany Laney, we are looking for reps for... Um, Right now, I think it's September, October. Um, I know that seems like a little farther off, but uh, if we like someone enough, we might actually bring them on for August. So keep that in mind. <laughs> um, so let's jump in. We don't want this video to be as long as it usually is, but yeah. let's go ahead and uh, jump in with this month's theme items. And what is it? Well, this month we're doing another Disney uh, month, but the theme this time is called find yourself and that's because a lot of the movies that we are basing this off of deal with discovering who you are or unveiling the lie um, that you believed your whole life and what was very interesting to me while I was putting this set together is I realized we actually have a narrative arc going on with all of our Disney sets do we our very first Disney set was not of not a part of their world, which talks all about a status quo that they are not a part of, or they are suppressing themselves to be a part of the status quo. And then the second set, Winds of Change, was about a sudden change in the person's life because something came in. And now, the person is having to find themselves. Ah, I see what you did there. Yes, I did not intend that at all, but we're probably going to want to keep that up if we keep doing Disney's. Now, what's funny about this month is that this month turned out to be not at all what we thought it was going to be like. We actually had other themes and scents that we were going to do, and then we completely changed it up um, mm -hmm. about a month ago and uh, decided to do something completely different <laughs> because I think it was because we're having a lot of like double scents right now. Yeah. Like We're starting to get into that because we have over 100 scents in our library. We're starting to get into like scents that smell too similar, even though we're putting a bunch of different blends together. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to be more uh, aware of that. Um, and also on top of that, you might see some scents that don't sell as well uh, go away, especially if it's a like a collection like, for example, Gilmore Girls might only have one or two scents from that collection instead of four. So we're going to start paring down that a little bit more very gradually, um, but you will see those changes as well. So I'm ready to jump in. Our first scent is called Look Deeper. And this is from The Lion King. It's based off of the scene where you know, Simba is having to look into the water um, and sees himself, but then realizes his father's been with him the entire time. So the uh, scent note on this is corn pudding, lemon, and lime. It is really, it's a lot fresher than I thought. At least the yeah. wax doesn't smell as much of corn pudding as I think the spray does. Actually, no. Once it matures, the spray does smell very much of lemon and lime. Mm. But the, the corn, corn pudding, pudding is, is definitely there, yeah. back there. And remember, we are doing our parasoy blend on our wax now instead of just our straight soy. So this should hold the temp a lot better um, and the scent and probably won't melt as easily either. I mean, we make them in like Florida in 90 degree heat. So <laughs> there's that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so about the art. Well, now we're doing the cosplay labels and you see Waldo and he's dressed up as baby Simba with the flowers around his head. The flower man. Yeah. What do you think of this scent though? I, I, you know, I actually like it better than another scent that has some of that lemon lime in it and that was, uh, 
uh, so fresh, so green, green. Mm. I like it better than that one. Um, it the the corn pudding is gentle, but it does mellow out the lemon lime. Yeah, it really bit. does. It's really it keeps it's it from being too strong. It's an interesting. It, it's not a lot of bakery in it either, which I think is really good. Mm. All right, we have our next scent which is called Out My Window, and it is based on Tangled slash Rapunzel. The scent notes are cookies, chocolate, and raspberries. Ooh. Yeah, I always forget how these scents smell. After we make them the first time, I have to go back and smell them because I always forget. Mm. Yeah, this is definitely a me scent. There is bakery, there is fruit in there. It's really great. Yeah, as soon as we finished making a batch, I had a little bit of extra leftover, and I'm like, that's going in my warm. <laughs> Ooh, that's really good. Yeah, okay, good. talk about the art on this one. Uh, we've got um, Jelly, and she's dressed up as Rapunzel. We added in um, one of Rapunzel's little um, lanterns there that she's with. I, I had a little bit of fun because Corey, after when I first created it, we just had the hair, and Corey's like, add lines in the hair. I'm like, what is this <laughs> Yeah, if you guys like fruit, you will definitely like this. And I didn't forget to mention that um, Look Deeper and Out My Window do come in spray, scrub, and wax this month. So Actually, like most of our stuff All does. but one comes yeah. in all three forms. And that's just because of the cinnamon content. Mm -hmm. La uh, not lastly, but the next one that we have is a theme that I got so many requests for, I was like, okay, finally, I guess I have to do this. And that is called Very Good Advice. If you didn't know by the name, uh, it is Alice, Alice in Wonderland. Wonderland. <laughs> it's cherry, violet, and orange blossoms. So there is a little bit of floral in here, obviously, because, you know, she learns a lot of things from the flowers. You know what this reminds me of, though, is... Okay, so I just got, like, a camp flashback when... I used to work with kids at the camp, and they used to put on their sunscreen. This does not smell like sunscreen, but I got like an association of the same smell with the sunscreen. I don't know why that is, but I just, I got this. It's like. Sense memory. <laughs> it, it's not the woodsy side of the camp. It's the cleaner side of the camp. The, yeah, the cleaner side. The more like floral outdoors, um, but cherry really mellows out the flowers so you do get that floral undertone but it doesn't make me allergic and I'm allergic to like the flowery scents so it's really good I don't know if I'd wear this I probably would use it as a wax melt just because of the floral for me would just irritate me mm -hmm. What's about so Ravenna is dressed up as Alice what was interesting about this was that the hat was originally part of the logo and Corey's like no you need to put that in her hand. And I'm like, let's do that. Corey has some good ideas. He does. That's why we always consult him on things like, yes. this, things like this. Um, and then our fourth one, which is actually our create a scent, but does go with the theme, and I didn't plan it that way, it just kind of happened, is called Silly Old Bear. And it is uh, based on, obviously, Winnie the Pooh. And this is created by uh, Christina Sanders. And um, the label that you're going to see is not the label that will be there the whole time. Uh, there will be a different label in August because obviously uh, we're still doing the Creative Scent designs right now, um, but that is changing up and we're not gonna be doing as much artwork. Marshall needs a break. Yes. So the scent notes are honey, milk, and honey because- And you're gonna get honey. It's, I it's a really so. good honey scent. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's very like a creamy honey. It's like, it's almost like what you would put in your tea. <laughs> Creamy honey scent, like your hot tea. What do you think about that scent in general for you? I, I like it a lot. What I like about it is that it is not one of our punch you in the face scents. It is gentle. This is the kind of scent that you put out when you're having you know, an intervention. Lainey, you have a problem. Is it wax? Because I can see that. Yes, it is wax. Yeah. <laughs> um, our next scent is one of those that we were like, at a con, as always happens. We're like, we don't have a scent for this, and it's really popular, so we should probably, probably do it. And it is called 
which you're going to think of the name and be like, what? It's called Murder Mom Real Quick, and it is based on Umbrella Academy, but more specifically, the character of Klaus in Umbrella Academy. Um, if you haven't watched this on Netflix, it is available. It's kind of an interesting show. I It's based on a comic. I didn't really know a lot about it, but then we watched it, and now I need more. I need more in my life. Yeah. So um, this is br Bananas, Brown Sugar, and Cranberries. And of course, it does have cinnamon in it, so it's not available in the scrub. It's only available in the wax and the spray. You Like, in the wax, at least, I'm really getting the brown sugar with mm -hmm. the bananas right underneath mm, it. Yeah. The cranberries are, like, hiding. But you can smell them, like, right at the end. There's, like, a little tart. Uh, it's like a ghost of cranberries. Yes. But it's really good. I think this is probably my second favorite, maybe, from the ones we just talked about. It's probably my second favorite. Yeah. Yeah. We've got some really nice gentle scents this time. Yeah, a very, like, I don't know, more summer, I think, not bright, but, like, mm -hmm. just, it's a fragrance, right? All right, our last uh, scent for the collection is uh, created by uh, the rep that had the most sales for April, and I know it takes us that long to actually do a scent, especially when we have to order new stuff. Um, this is called Woogity Woogity, and it's based on Rocket Power, which I have never seen. I've never seen this cartoon. Um, apparently she really likes this cartoon, but if you know about Rocket Power, comment below and tell me. The, uh, scent notes are Blue Raspberries, Ocean Breeze, and Lavender. Apparently they are on a beach. They're near they're, a beach. They're, uh, from what I can tell, these are extreme sports kids in a team in California. Okay, so it's kind of like, because she said that it had to have like a beachy kind of feel, mm -hmm. which is kind of what it smells like too, actually. It's like mm -hmm. a, it's like a blue raspberry, but then there's also like a very slight ocean water yeah. essence. Yeah, it, it really does give you that sense of like late 90s California beaches. Yeah, and then the lavender is very, very light. Like, I can't deal with lavender. That's the one I'm really allergic to, but... Yeah. yeah. The ocean breeze really does smell good. Yeah, like, it's really great. It, it gives you something different. But there's also something different about this artwork. There is. Many of the people, many people will recognize all the characters we've shown before, but nobody's going to recognize this one. That's because she's brand new. Uh, we created her because we, we looked through our stable of characters and we're like, they're all white. Although, in my head, I've always thought of Colada as a Latina. I that's just my believe head. that, yes. Um, so, we created this new girl. In fact, she's so new she doesn't even have a name. So she is actually a little bit about her. She is obviously of color and she is plus size. So we decided, okay, let's let's make one that's a little more like, you know, what is the American woman right now? She's not necessarily skinny. She, you know, a little bit curvier. And we, so we wanted something that really embraced that. So we decided to make this character. Like he said, he does not, she does not have a name. So in a little while, we're going to be putting a poll up in our group to name the new character. So make sure you go to the group and... Uh... Not only can you vote on the names that are already there, but remember, you can always suggest new names in these polls. So you might have a new name that nobody thought of yet, and it could be really awesome. I've had that happen a lot of times where people just won't vote on, won't create new things, they'll just vote on what's already there. So I think probably what we're going to do is put up a, a little post and say name this one and like have a bunch of comments of the name and then we'll put it up for a vote. Um, and then of course we always reserve the right to pick our favorite. Yeah. But we do take your community uh, feedback into consideration as well. And speaking of community feedback, it's time for what wax are we doing this month? Um, as you can see, we've already done six different scents of wax, but we always bring back a couple of our past scents um, in order for you guys to buy it because we don't keep wax on inventory all the time. It just takes too long to make it. So what's really interesting is we did a vote <laughs> and the ones that got the highest votes are actually Disney movies. <laughs> so... <laughs> Everything goes with the theme this month. So we have two of them. We have Dingle Hopper and we have Friendship. As you remember, Dingle Hopper is based on uh, Little Mermaid. And it is suntan lotion, pineapple, and oranges. The suntan lotion is very prominent in this. I cannot, I mean, 
if you do not like strong suntan lotion smell, you will not like this. I'm just saying. This actually does give me a headache when I burn it in wax, but he's going to try wiggity with that and see what it's like. Suntan lotion with an ocean breeze. We're always also looking for fusions that work well. Because you never know. You might come on a fusion that's really awesome. Give it a go. And while I'm sniffing, he'll talk to you about... Friend Trip, uh, which is apricots, cotton candy, and friends. Um, so this one is based off of a Toy Story, the series, although I think we really based it off of Toy Story 4 that we didn't see when we made it. But it's cool because people like it anyway. It's so funny. We were watching Last Man Standing and we're not caught up with it. And um, there's this one, one scene where, uh, it pre in this last season, where the girls uh, go and watch like a rental movie. And um, they're going through all of their Netflix going, okay, yeah. well, how about we watch this one or this one? And then the, the youngest of the daughters goes, huh, why does dad have a copy of Toy Story 4? It's not even out yet. Yeah, at the time, I mean, Toy Story 4 just came out a couple weeks ago. And that episode aired like a couple months ago. So that, that was pretty funny. They always make like Tim Allen jokes about what he's done yeah. in this thing. Like, it's pretty funny. Um, so that is the wax. It is on special. So instead of $5, it is $4 for the month. And lastly, I wanted to show you guys a little sneak peek of something we are working on, um, primarily to sell at cons, although we might put a couple up on our site, uh, depending on the design. This is a prototype. It will not look like this at all when we're done with it. This is just the fabric that I chose to use because I didn't have a lot of it. This is what we call a spray all day holster. And what it is for is you just put your little spray in there and you can clip it to your backpack, purse, or belt loop if you feel like it. Um, this one, like I said, it is won't be in this design. This is basically just what the shape will look like for us to test. Um, if you are a rep with me, um, we do like a team competition thing. Um, and a lot of my reps this month did get one of these as a prize. So, very cool. Other highlight deals include uh, this month, I think we're doing the Harry Potter collection. And we're doing our signature scents collection, which is the Saini Laney, Spark Chaser, So Far So Green. Those scents are all being highlighted as well. So that is everything for the month. I hope you had a great time watching. And comment down below if you uh, want to talk to us so we can talk back at you. As we talk. So until next time, stay zany. Bye bye.